All right. Uh, a lot of times uh, you'll get, uh, if you get a pressure switch uh, error on it, on your circuit board, uh, I would check the hoses first and make sure that the ports aren't blocked. Uh, that's a pretty common problem in some of these. So you take the hose off, just take the hose off and then blow through it. Just blow through the end of it. Don't suck. Cause I did that once caught a, got a dead bug up through my, into my throat, but just give it a good blow. Okay. And then make sure it's clear. And then on the, uh, uh, ports itself, it just doesn't hurt to take like a, uh, take a paper clip or you can take, I'm just using my, make sure that this is clear and clean. So I'm just using my probes for my meter and the same thing on the other side up at the, at the top, make sure that it's clear because there's some webs and some bugs that can get in there. But if you make sure they're clear, uh, now on the pressure switch, never suck on the hose because you can actually damage the pressure switch by, uh, sucking on that hose or blowing on it to make sure that it's it's making contact because it's only working at 0.4 inches of water column on this one's what it's rated for and then i would hook up my manometer to it also if i was you know when it's running uh to see that i'm getting 0.4 out of the uh the the motor itself that it's pulling on the juice motor and of course make sure that it's spinning and everything's that's not making any noise and that's just a quick tip all right